Hey guys, it's Jamie here from 3D Scan Store. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can transfer one of our new hair meshes, the real-time hair models, um, from our um, model here onto any of our HD head scans. So this is the HD head scan that I'm going to be sort of working with. Um, so what I've done is I've transferred our base topology and hair onto this model. So this is the um, model that you get whenever you buy the, the hair. Um, so this is just a sort of a, a base mesh. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use wrap to and a lattice tool to modify this base mesh and also the hair so it fits onto the HD head scan. So the first thing we're going to do is load up wrap 3 and we're going to load in the three models. So we've got the base head, the beard and the hair. Um, not all our hair products come with beards obviously but I'm going to do it with both in this tutorial just to show you how easy it is. So the first one is the base mesh, we'll load that in and we'll just name that base and now we will load in the two hair models. So we'll load in the beard and the hair. So call that hair and we'll call this one beard obviously. So these are the three meshes that you get whenever you buy the, the hair product um, and they're fitted to our base mesh. So what we're going to do is deform this base mesh and with it the hair and the beard to match one of our HD head scans. So what we need to do now is load in one of our HD head scans. So for this tutorial I'm going to use this guy, uh, male 34, because I think he'd probably suit a man bun quite well and a beard. So we'll go back into wrap and we will load, oh, I've called him male 35. He's male 34. So we'll load his uh, lowest subdivision level one object. So basically the HD head scans come with FBXs and ZTLs, but I've exported this, uh, the lowest subdivision from ZBrush as an OBJ so we can load it into wrap. So we'll load up this model and you can see here there's a big difference in the face shape. And obviously the, if we try and put the hair and the beard on now, that's, it's not gonna fit at all. It's gonna be intersecting and it's gonna look weird. So we're going to use, I'll just rename that first, HD head 34. So we're going to use the lattice tool. So we're just going to geometry and lattice. And what this does is it deforms a base mesh and takes with it the um, beard and the, well, whichever other object you plug in. So in the first one, we've got the geometry to deform, which is the base mesh. Oh no, sorry, that's the, the beard. That's the geometry we want to deform. We'll plug that in. Then we've got the source deformation, and that is the base head that comes with the hair. And then here we've got the target deformation, and that is the um, HD head scan. So we're going to plug that in there. And now you can see that's the beard that it's deformed. And you can see now that it fits pretty well onto the, um, the new head. So we just want to modify these neighbors. So we're just going to change that to 150. It'll take a little bit longer, but you just get a slightly more accurate deformation. So that's the beard fitted. So now we're just going to export that. So right click on lattice and save geometry. And we'll just save that as beard. And then we want to do the hair as well, obviously. So we'll replace the beard with the hair object. And it'll take a little bit longer because there's a few more polygons in that. And now you can see that that has deformed to match the head. So once we have the hair and the beard uh, matching to the HD head, uh, we can just export the hair. Let's right click, save geometry, export the hair. And now, um, so this now all fits onto this head. So we can easily go in now and render this. Um, so the easiest way to do this, uh, we can just use one of our uh, Marmoset scenes. Um, so we'll just load the HD head, load up his Marmoset scene. Okay. And now to import the hair, we just go file, import model, and we'll choose that hair that we exported. So the hair and also the beard. There you go. So that's all fitting nicely. And now we want to import the shaders, so we've included two Marmoset shaders, so just click the import button here and go into the Marmoset folder in the, the hair scene and import both these shaders. So 
There we go. Now all we do is drag the hair onto the hair and the beard onto the beard and that's it. It's really, really very simple. Um, we try to make it as simple as possible to use. And this process can be applied to any head that's been created using our base mesh, our head base mesh, or any of our HD or SD head scans. So if you've modified one of these and created a sculpt, you can use exactly the same process using the lattice tool and the supplied base mesh with the hair to um, modify the hair to fit any head shape. So I hope this is useful. And again, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask in the comments um, on YouTube or on the blog or just email us info at 3dscanstore.com.